You have been through the, the worst ordeal. I can't even begin to imagine what it it's, must have been like. It's really difficult uh, to explain to people what it's like. You have to go through it yourself to know what it's like. You, it's a horrifying, traumatically emotional yeah. situation that you find yourself in. And, uh, and you somehow feel that you don't know how to get out of it. Well, it must have been, so like, just... surreal. It must have been utterly it surreal, is. as if this isn't happening. It was just... I think the best decision I made uh, was that I wasn't going to say anything until it was over. And, and when the lawyers rang me once, they said, ''Oh, we like your dignified silence.'' I thought I was just being sick, silent. I didn't know I was dignified. <laughs> very so dignified. Sorry. No, but you're right, because it must have been very, very, very tough, that. Very, very hard. It was tough. You yeah. get to know who your real friends are, though, don't you? Yes, you know, you know I, I've got family and friends that have supported me right the way through. And even when I was in Portugal and, and the story broke, friends were coming and they said, oh, we better not come because you probably want to be on your own. I went, no, no. I don't want to be on my own. So I was surrounded by people that understood and anybody that knows me that it, they were such a, absurd claims. So, uh, so, you know, and I feel now it's like it's in the past of and course. now I'm looking to the future and it's yeah. really nice. OK. I may never get over it, but I can definitely get past it and move on. Yeah, because it's got, you know, the, the scars have got to be there. It, it, it must do. I mean, we know that you're a man of faith and your faith is very, very important to you. Was, were there any times during that ordeal where you thought, God's abandoned me or, oh, or that no. you wavered in any way? No, I know. I know people often say that, but, you know, I felt closer to him then because I, I felt like, like, who do I turn to? There were certain friends, yes, of course. I could turn to at any time, mm -hmm. but not at any time. I could turn to God in the middle of the night. In fact, I forgave my first accuser on the second night because I woke up uh, feeling that I can't... How, how do I survive this if I have hate and vengeance in my heart? And I just said to God, please help me. I, I, help me forgive him. So I uttered the words, I forgive you, whoever you are. And you know what? It was a, it was a lot easier the next day because I didn't burn with hate and yeah. vengeance. So, uh, you know, so for, God, for me, God became a reality much more so than he has done before because I don't know how people manage without someone like that to lean on when you come through really bad times in your life. It's the, the power of faith, isn't it? it really yeah. is, and the comfort of faith as well. Absolutely. You know, it, it does help you. It's, um, but it has been. It's been so, so difficult because you, peace of mind is something I think we all take for granted. Yeah. And it's only when it's not there that you somehow, you know, because it's all, you know, you're waking up in the morning and it's the first thing you think about and yeah. it must be very, very tough. But, you know, I had a chance the other day when I did the Pride of Britain show, uh, I knew that I'd have to say something because it was one of the first big things I'd done. Of course. And I just said, you know, watching those people, who what they had suffered, made my two years seem insignificant. That's a really, really good way to look at yeah. it. It put it in perspective. Yeah, I guess. I know, but, but it doesn't belittle the fact that you have had <laughs> a hell of a time, a horrible, horrible oh, yeah. time. It doesn't change that at all. No, because It's just I mean, that my perspective is different and I can, I can move on m more healthily. I understand. I completely understand. Your fans have been with you every step of the way, haven't they? Oh, they yeah. Are You've always had great fans. We've always known that. It's always been known <laughs> that, you know, Cliffy fans, you know, they absolutely well, love you. Know, you know, Lorraine, it's like uh, the, the fans know me pretty well. They They've met me and seen me over the years, and uh, and and again, it was an interesting thing. You know, for 58 years, I've been a singer. I don't have a background of this kind of activity. No. And so, anybody that's known me, anybody, there was nobody. In fact, the other thing that my lawyers rang and told me was about two months into my traumas, mm. um, they said we've never worked with anybody who has 100% public support. Right. Well, I didn't ask them who they worked with. <laughs> I said, who are they? Anyway, it comforted me a great deal yeah. to know that people were not believing it. And that's, what, that's, that's the main thing for me. Mm. I knew, he knew, and God knew, and the whole country knew that yeah. this was not possible. No, I mean, everybody was saying that. And this is yeah, ridiculous, it's ridiculous. And it's completely but, uh, you know, I, unfair I, and it shouldn't have happened. And I know you're, you're taking legal action. We can't talk about that, I know, because we yeah. don't want to affect that in, in any way. But, you know, it's, it's not over yet. That's the thing. It still will be ongoing, I guess. Yeah, I think it's a matter now of saying, uh, how can we prevent this happening to other people? Yeah. You know, there are lots of innocent people that are accused. Mm -hmm. Now, there are lots of guilty people that are accused, and somehow or another there's got to be a balance because, you know, rapists should definitely be sorted out yeah. and child molesters should be sorted out. But you can't have this amount of collateral damage. I do not like being collateral damage. Mm -hmm. And that's basically what I was. No one cared that, uh, that, I, that I was innocent. They just had to believe the accuser. And again, that's part of the thing. You, they do have to take accusations seriously, I know that. So I let them do it. I went twice to be interviewed by them.
to see if I could help sort the problem out. But um, anyway, it was all dropped in the end, and I'm, as was, I say, I'm happily was. facing the future now. I wonder, has it changed your attitude, though, towards, like, because, you know, you're, you're fantastic with fans, and anybody that comes up to you and wants a photograph, and, you know, you, there you are, and you'll give them a cuddle, and it's all lovely. As, as because of this... Because of what happened, does that change the way you deal with people? Are you a bit more wary yeah, now? Well, not so much with just people. I, I'm a little bit wary. It's happened two or three times to me when uh, people bring their children, mm -hmm. their daughters and sons. You know, this person, I might have met him. I don't know. I don't think I've... Uh, I don't know this person. Yeah. The person um, that accused you. But I could well... And my lawyer said, don't ever say you've never met people because you have thousands of photographs taken. Yeah, I know. And, of course, I've, people have brought their grandchildren and their children and I've said it like this, and I don't know what they turn out to be 25, 30 years later. Mm -hmm. So I've found now that I'm a little bit wary. Uh, I try not to touch people too much. Oh, that's so sad. No, it'll all change. That'll all change. It's yeah. only at the moment I'm okay, thinking I, I don't know how to deal with this photograph sure, situation, sure. whereas before you just hug them and go, hey. Yeah, of course. Of and course. that'll all come back. It will. It yeah. definitely will. If you'd like to see even more great guests, then click here. There are plenty more fantastic interviews to come, so make sure that you subscribe.